Poncho in the Washa Edu, the mighty, mighty Acoma House Initiative coming live and direct to you. We want to help you right away to understand why you're having wick, wick, whack communication. And what is whack? It's withered and dry. Aggravating. Confusing. Mm -hmm. And, and killing, killing your relationship. Your relationship. And so we're going to do a little countdown from number seven to number one. The seven reasons you're having whack communication. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Number seven is that you don't know how to assess your last conversation. So you're not making any improvements. So we use the acronym TIME, taking inventory in the morning and the evening. But basically you have whack communication because you're not doing it. So you don't know how to greet your partner. You don't know how to... Um, you don't know why your last argument happened. You don't know why you even have good communication. You just don't know how to take inventory in your communication. Understanding communication means that you have to understand the nonverbals and the environment, mm -hmm. the harmonizing with nature, and all of these things that are uh, innate in our people when we're in our natural state. And we'll, we'll help you with that. And so that taking inventory of morning and evening is important. And number six. Number six is you don't understand the unique nuance of the male, how he perceives, how he talks, how he um, um, communicates for a certain thing in complement with the female and how she perceives, how she talks, how she listens and communicates with a certain intention and perspective. Mm -hmm. So not understanding the, the nuances of the male, the psyche of the male and the psyche of the female is really making your communication. <laughs> what? And number five, the reason why your communication is whack is because you don't know the right thing to say at the right time. So you don't have a ritual for your communication. So you bring up anything at any time, <laughs> which throws your partner off, or you just avoid conversations all together because you think you're going to have an argument which leaves you feeling frustrated alone inside of your relationship and uh, annoyed and that's very important because like Nawasha said we want to say the right thing at the right time for the right reasons to help our communication be effective and full and respectful of intention and desire mm -hmm. And the number four reason is you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you're not a good speaker. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't yeah. even know what you're talking about. So you bring things to your mate that might be confusing, unclear. Um, you're using the wrong words, which, you know, we a lot of us do. But that throws off your speech. So we... No, you have whack communication if you're just not good at speaking. And you know if you had a, a whack communication experience, and we all had, one of the first things we say is, you don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, it's truth in that. <laughs> and the third reason, because you don't know how to listen. So if you don't know how to speak, that's one thing. But if you are a good speaker and not a good listener, your conversation is still going nowhere. So there's a science to listening that you're not just waiting to say the thing that you've already planned that you were going to say when this person came up to you. And you're not plotting your um, rebuttals all the time. You're actually present in the conversation um, and engage with the person. So you're having whack communication if you just don't know how to listen. And I know this is a thing that, you know, even outside of the intimate relationship with brother to brother, you know, we've kind of in our culture been geared to be um, um, rebuttal artists or um, filibuster artists where we talk over one another. We're not really participating as active listeners. So you have passive listening, aggressive listening. Um, listening is an art and it is a science. And so we'll share with you the art and science of listening. So you can break that whack communication. <laughs> And the second reason is because you're not managing your thoughts. So part of speaking, part of listening is to be able to manage your mind. So if you are a visual person, 
and as soon as someone says something, you start getting images and you can't control that, then you might interrupt or you might start to float off in your thoughts and not stay with the person in communication. Or your communication might be whack because you think that you know what the other person is going to say already. So you position your conversation in a certain way, you come at the person in a certain way, or again, you just avoid it altogether because you're not managing your thoughts. So you're, whatever you're thinking, you're creating in the in reality. And if you're thinking something that's negative about the conversation or that's not productive about the conversation, then your communication is going to be wet. It's very important to control your thoughts. And in fact, we always, in our cultural, um, historical brilliance we always stay in alignment with ma'at that beautiful feather that's right there that golden ma'at because ma'at is golden and one of the ma'at has seven principles ten uh, I mean seven virtues ten principles and 42 laws um, 247 laws that have been shrunk to 42 laws um, the first principle of ma'at is control of thought and so when you control your thinking you're able to to enter into communication or anything you endeavor into with, with empowerment. And so we want to help you, um, give you some techniques that will help you with that. Mm -hmm. And then the drum roll. The number one whip, whip, whack, <laughs> breaker. The number one reason your conversation is whack <laughs> is... You just don't know the purpose of a conversation. So you don't understand why you're communicating in the first place. And what we mean by that is a lot of times people bring up a conversation just to prove they're right, to put another person down, um, you know, for, for reasons other than the true purpose of communication. And we really want to delve into this because when you get into the purpose or the intention of communication and desire behind it, you're saying that I have an intention this conversation has a purpose. I want to express and desire, and then I want to aid into materializing a result. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we're really we're really not taught that anymore. Um, we're we're disconnected from our cultural um, paradigms that teach us how to conserve energy through thoughtful words, thoughtful intention, thoughtful purpose, and maati and desire. But then also the activity that goes with the um, with the words, and so that's why we all today talk about um, you know um, action talks and BS walks because we want to see some reality manifest after we you know burn all this air out of our, our mouths, our hot hot air, you know, and so we we, we want to get into that and that being the most important thing. When, when we're dealing yes. with communication. Purpose and intent is always the most important thing. Um, but we want to know which one of these is your challenge. So let us know which one of these has been either a struggle for you or where you know somebody else, like your mate or your um, last significant other, definitely had that issue. And you can, you can look at it around in all your relationships, your friends, your, your, your siblings, your children, your co-workers. You know, it's, it's always somebody that's in your cipher that's just running a mouth and having whack communication, utilizing one or all of those seven. And if you say, no, I don't know, you, you're probably the one. <laughs> you're probably the one that everybody knows is whack, whack, whack. And so we at the Home House Initiative want to address it and um, we're looking forward to working with you. We're looking forward to hearing your feedback. We're looking forward to sharing the art and science of purposeful um, and intentful communication. So with that, we greet you in peace. As we always do, just and true, we say, Mia Coma. Coma.